Hey everybody, Fox DL against here at Petardo, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to where you can mod it, and it will give you back a lot of the original content that was in the game, including music tracks that were taken out due to licensing issues. I think there was like 18 of them or something. It's, it took a big hit to the soundtrack. We'll also look at fixing different bugs with the game, and also adding correct controller support. So after this, everything will be like 100% set in stone, fixed, and like set up to where it's moddable and compatible. So what we're going to do is first show you that it's legit, I've got it, here's the news feed, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I've got an actual Steam copy of it. Today's December 31st. It's, it is fully updated. So what you want to do is you want to go to, of course, where your uh, install folder is and just keep that open for now. I'm going to put this link in to this page in the description. This is basically to the guide. I'm going to walk you through, make it a bit easier, because a lot of these don't have readme files, and they're a bit harder to deal with that way. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take the current version that you're on, whatever it'll be, and downgrade it to version 1.0. Now you want to go to this page, and you want to go to your downgrade section go down to the 1.0 downgrader. This takes it back to its original condition. That's what we're going to want. Pick whichever one of these is fastest to you. Um, if you pick one of the, the top two, then it'll load and it'll pop open a window to auto download. Here's the auto download window. It's 1.2 gigabytes. This is indeed the file that you're going to need, so you save that. Again, it's under 1.0 downgrader links. Okay, once you have the downgrader, it'll look like this. GTA SA 12.9.14 Steam to version 1DG.exe or whatever have you. Double click that and run it. Or right, right click and run it as administrator if you need to. When you get to this, all you need to do is hit next, next. Here you want to hit browse and navigate to the install directory. So it would be wherever Steam's located, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then of course Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Just click the main folder, hit OK. Hit Next. It'll check it, make sure it's there. OK, and then you hit Start to start the downgrade. This will take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. Now it's complete. It's downgraded the game now to 1.0. Now, when it's doing, it was going through its thing. It will sometimes, depending, uh, it'll look like it's just not responding and it'll gray itself out and just let it sit there. It'll go through its thing in time. So you want to hit next, and this is basically the credits. You hit exit. Okay, now that that's done, if you go back to your uh, San Andreas folder where the game's installed. Here there's two XEs now. One of them was just installed by the downgrader. If you hover over them, you can see one that was made 12.9.14, 5.09pm, and the other one was made today. I don't know if there's a big difference. Uh, I usually I delete the old one when I do this, and I just keep the newer one because I never use the older one. I think the older one might be for the for Steam or something. But this one will, this, after this, it'll launch without Steam. So now that you have this, next thing you want to do is you want to do the silent patch. You go here, this will give you instructions. Basically, this is to install the silent patch and uh, silence A ASI loader. Now with this, I'm just going to walk you through this because it makes it seem a little more complicated than it is. First thing you need to do is you need to go to the first link. The first link is going to be the silent patch. 
this basically fixes a whole bunch of stuff that's up with the game and fixes bugs, stuff like that. Uh, you'll find it here. Uh, you want the Silent Patch SA 1.1. That's San Andreas. The rest of them are for other builds. So you want to download that. So you'd hit download and then that pop up. You just save it. Okay, when you get it, it's going to be this one. You want to open the zip folder. Okay, under here, you want to move the AS, just ASI and the INI to the game folder. Just like within the game folder. Just drag it and drop it. So we're going to select these, drag and drop. Okay, now that we've done that, then you want to go to your second link. The second link is going to be the ASI loader. Once you're at the ASI loader, you have these. The source code is just for modders, so you can ignore that. ASI loader 1.3, hit download, and you can download that. Once you have it, it'll be silence ASI loader. Once you have this, then you want to take these just these two DLLs. The rest of it doesn't really matter. You take these last two DLLs and you drop them over here. And then hit yes, copy, and replace for both of the ones that are already there. The next one's going to be the mod loader. The mod loader will be below the instructions down here on the first comment. It'll be underneath this link. I'll put a link in the description below. All these links will be in the description as well. So here's the mod loader. And you can get it here. I just get the, the latest version, the 0.2.4, get that one. Once you have mod loader, you'll have this. With the mod loader, you want to copy the mod loader folder and the mod loader ASI. That's all you need. Drag it and drop it into the game install folder right here. Okay, once you have that, now it's time to put in the vehicle fixes to fix the bugs with the vehicles and the mirrored plates. The like mirrored license plates and things that are up with the vehicles. Okay, for the vehicle fix files, this will be on GTA forums. I'll put this uh, link in the description as well. Uh, here, you can basically jump around, you can hit show, and it'll show you the improvements. So say, like, for example, this one had a mirrored plate, now it's straight and everything's cool with it. You know, little things like that. This fixes several different things, you know, type of thing. Uh, if you scroll down, the first little comment section here. Uh, this will basically explain, these are the fixed vehicle packs. Uh, the latest one is going to be at the Get Them Here link. Click that. This will send you to a Mediafire link. Uh, and of course this, you just hit it and then download it. That's going to be your, it's going to be called Vehicle Fixes PC. These are the files that you need. Once you have the file, it'll look like this. It'll be Vehicle Fixes PC. You click that and they're all in here. These are all the fixed files. Now what you want to do is you want to go over here to Mod Loader and open that folder up. Create a new folder. You can call it whatever you want. It's going to be whatever it's going to show up in the option menu. Um, so, like, I'm just going to name it Vehicle Fixes, because that's what it is. So, we do that, and of course, drag, highlight, copy all of these, and drop them in there. should have 30 files. So, now you have your Vehicle Fix files. So, now your vehicles are fixed up and unbugged. Now you want to get your controller support in order. With controller support, go back to the guide and go down to controller support. Like this guy, I also recommend Silence G input. This file is, if you played the PlayStation 2 version, it's pretty much going to be the same and it's going to show Xbox, uh, like if you use the Xbox 360 controller, it's going to show little controller icons and stuff in the prompts as well. So click that link. And then underneath download over here, the first one that's the G input SA 1.10A for GTA SA. Make sure it's for GTA SA and none of the other ones. Click that and then you can download it. 
Once you have the file, it will look like this. It will be gimput sa underscore 1.10a. Open this up. You'll want to copy the models folder, the ASI file, and the INI file, and just drag and drop those. Yes. Install those into your directory here. Just drag and drop them. So after you do that, then it's time to install Clio 4, which is the current version of Clio, which is out right now, which basically is the equivalent of a script extender or anything of that sort. You'll want to go to Clio.li, and here is the Clio library. Make sure you get the one for GTA SA, as the other ones are for 3 and Vice City. You'll want to get this one. And then it'll pop window up, Clio 4, setup.exe, you could save it. I've already got it saved. So here you'll have the Clio 4 setup.exe file. You want to double click it, hit run, or right click it and hit run as administrator. Once it opens, you want to select whatever language you want, English for me. Hit next, next. Here you want to browse to your game. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, OK, Next. I want to do a full installation, hit Next and install. After it's install, you hit Next, uncheck these, those are README files, hit Finish, and you're pretty much done right now. So once you're done, then you want to test it and make sure it works by launching it. Once you're in the game, it should say on the bottom left, Clio version 4.3, 3 plugins and whatnot. Uh, under options, first thing you want to do is, of course, go underneath display and go under advanced. Set up your display with whatever resolution you want. It's going to add a whole lot more up to like 1920, 1080. So, even 1600, 900, all that. So I'm set up at 1360 by 768. You just hit enter and it'll apply it. You can go back. You can go to uh, mod configuration. Underneath here, if you go down to modifications, you'll see vehicle fixes. You want to click that, make sure it's enabled. After that, you can hit escape and it'll go back. And... Now, once you go to a different version, you're going to have to start a new game. Um, however, I've already started a game with this version, so I have a game that I can load. So, say these two are from a different version, I can't actually play those. If you try to play them, it'll crash. But this third one is a save from this version. So, we're going to launch that. The loading screens look a little odd because, of course, they were a smaller res at one time. So, here, walking around. Um, I'm going to get my controller. And the controller is really nice. It's really smooth. You can sprint, you can run around in circles. I mean, it's, it's smooth. You can, you can actually move it like it's meant to be played like that. So... You got a good controller set up. So I'm going to end this here. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. So this is how you set up Grand Theft Auto San Andreas to be able to mod. In the next video I'll actually show you how to mod and we'll show you how to add cars and all sorts of different other stuff. So stay tuned and the next couple videos will be on that. Foxy Dale against out.